Hello, my name is Brennan McCreary. I'm a recent graduate of Dev Code Camp, and today I'll be showcasing my capstone project. This project was built in a four week sprint to finish out our class and is designed to revamp an existing website for an online gaming collective known as Branched Gaming Network. Their mission is to connect content creators with content consumers and other creators, as well as new games, new faces, new experiences. So that being said, this project uses React and React hooks for the front end, Node and Express.js for the back end, MongoDB for data storage, JSON web tokens for user authentication and permission dictation, Molter for file system management, Axios for HTTP requests, the Twitch API for stream data acquisition, Google Calendar API for event data acquisition, and full calendar for calendar integration. So let's go ahead and take a look. All right, so from the start here, we'll pop in and we'll see our landing page. Our landing page is reminiscent of a tabletop game where you have three cards laid face down and you can choose one to go ahead and see what's beneath it. Um, that being said, this website features three tiers of access. You have non-registered, registered, and admin. So right now we are currently not logged in, not registered. So we'll go through that and explore the site first and see what changes as we shift through those different uh, levels of permission. So let's go ahead and start with explore. If we hop in, first thing we'll see, we have a stream displayed. Now these streams are picked from the most concurrent viewers that any single stream in our partnered list has. So currently this one is live, as we can see up here with four viewers. Um, and then below we just have our list of each partner that is on the list. Um, if we go ahead and jump over to uh, community, as a non-registered user, we will see a calendar, we'll see events taken from the Google Calendar, and we'll have social media links below that. And then on the right hand side, we'll have login to view polls. Now, since we're not a registered user, we are unable to view polls, we are unable to vote in polls, and uh, we will not gain that access until we create an account. So if we jump back to home, check out our roots. This is just our static about page. Uh, we have a mission statement here on the left hand side, as well as the social media links again, and owner and moderator cards on the right, um, which will house names, photos, and aliases. So jump back to the home page and let's go ahead and log in and see what changes with a registered but non-admin user. So, um, First thing we'll see, we're now logged in. You can see our name in the top right as well as log out. Uh, so if we go to explore, it's gonna be the same here. We're still gonna see this stream, still gonna see these partners down here. Um, jump to community, we'll see the calendar, but now we can see the polls. So from here, we can see that we voted in this poll and the, these are the results for it. And then below that, we see a poll that we have not voted in. So from there, we can just go ahead and select one and it'll update the vote count and display those results to us. Uh, still have the social media links and then we can jump over to Roots and that's gonna be the same too. Um, nothing gonna change here. We're just gonna have our social media, our cards and our mission statement. So from there, if we go to home, we log out and we'll log in with an administrative user this time to go ahead and see what full access to the website looks like. So now that we're logged in as an administrative user, you can see in the top right, we have our admin panel access, and then we'll go ahead and hop into explore, and we'll see that we currently still have this stream live. So let's go ahead and hop to admin panel and create a new partner. So if you look at Twitch, uh, it looks like we have, yeah, Weasel Cake here with 17 viewers, which should be higher than four. So Let's go ahead and add that. We can do whatever name we like here. And we'll go ahead and give them a picture. So now if we create that and we hop over to explore, now the stream that's gonna load is gonna be the one with the higher viewers. Uh, even though both are online, uh, whichever has the higher concurrent viewership is the one that's gonna get uh, pushed forward. So from there, we can go ahead and hop to our community. And here we can see that we can now edit polls and delete polls. So if we wanted to get rid of this poll, we just simply click delete. And then we can hop back to the admin panel and create a new one. So we'll just give these a couple options and then create. And we jump back to dashboard. Now we have a new poll. Say we didn't want it to be called new poll two. We'll just change it, update the title. 
and now it's just new pool and then we can go and vote on that if we like or we can just get rid of it edit it whatever um, from there jump over to here and all the same stuff nothing's really going to change here so from the admin panel though we can go ahead and remove partners so if we didn't want uh, this person on our partner list anymore we just simply click delete then when we jump back to explore we're going to see the next highest uh, viewer count stream be pushed forward which is going to be here with four um, but that is all the, um, for future iterations we would like to kind of polish what admins are able to do and give them a little more access to uh, go ahead and control and manipulate their site as they please um, additionally we want to add a little more uh, usability for users and actions that they can take to connect with the community in the best ways possible um, but that is the major focus going forward and yeah, I'm Brennan McCreary. Thank you for watching.